meter. If you come one foot on one side of the boat, the other foot on the other side of the boat, you want to go and get hammered by the chemo and you want to do this, I think it's a bit suicide, difficult. But I don't stop you. You want to go chemo, you go. It doesn't matter with me. All right? Okay. But you have to have two commitments in what you want to do. I always ask you, go and seek proper medical advice, but know the limit of medical science. Third, I ask you to take herbs which taste lousy, smell lousy, and makes you work very hard every day because you have to cook. So if you don't know how to cook, so sad. There's one lady who comes and says, how do you expect me to cook? I don't know how to cook. So I say, I don't have herb to teach you how to cook. Okay, that one you have to learn yourself. Then you cook my own. All right? Then I ask you to eat rightly. This is very difficult. So point. Go and see Christian or die one. Why die? You cannot eat. You cannot eat the food that I like. Okay? And let me just tell you, if you know you eat proper food that we teach you, you are all your high blood pressure will disappear, you never get sick and never see the doctors again for your flu and everything. I've seen many cases of patients who are much, much healthier if they switch to the proper diet. Okay, so we teach you how to eat proper food. And I tell you also, don't be stressful, don't get angry anymore, and live a happy, godly life. Okay, pray to God, whoever God is okay, pray to God and ask for help as well. Now, some of you may come, I only want to do this, I want to do number three, but I don't want to do other things. I say cannot. This is not something you can choose. It is a concept and it must come in a package deal. If you want to take a herb but you want to eat bakute outside, you complain, very good bakute, uh, you want to eat and I say forget about it, don't waste your time. Alright? So this is a package deal. Okay. And, and I always tell you, I have no cure. It is only my knowledge and my hand. God helps you. Okay? So I ask you to pray to God and ask for help. We do not promise you a cure because we know there is no cure. But we know that you can live a happy, a stressful, a mistress free life. Healing does not come easy. There is no honeymoon when you come and see us. You take a lot of efforts from you. Huh? You have to time yourself, change your ideas, change your attitude, change your schedule, watch a match up. So, in my book, I say, cancer is about you. It's not the tumor that is growing in you. Tumor is just a symptom. You remove it also, it will come again if you don't change yourself. Change you first. Tumor is just a manifestation. Cancer is about you. The more I sit down with me, I will tick, 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 I begin to see all your problems. And that's where the cause is. Okay? So cancer is about you. I want you, tell you to change your attitude, and you have to change. There is no shortcut about it. If you are not going to change, you are not going to win. Only 30% of the people who come and see me, many people. 70% just cannot. I say just cannot. I'm very sorry. All right? Okay? I just need to talk to you for five minutes. I will know whether I can. Because it show up. It will show up in the way you behave, the way you talk, and the way you think. I will not know whether you can make it or not. I'm not trying to claim I'm God, but I think through experience, I can see it. Whatever it is, I'm not asking you to follow my therapy because I know it is difficult. But whatever it is, it does not matter if you want to follow me or not. My advice to you is this. You go and see the doctors when you got cancer, they say you can eat anything you like. My answer is, is no. No matter what you do, whether you do chemo or not chemo, blah, blah, and all this, my answer is, is, take care of your diet. The diet is the most important thing if you want to win cancer. But, you know, I'm very surprised. Today, there are many patients who come and see me, the doctor say, you have to take care of your diet. Then you ask the second person, take care of what? Don't know, but take care of the diet. <laughs> <laughs> ask the 
anything on it? Don't know. But take care of the life. I feel amazed. Amazed. But you cannot blame them because they got no time. But I have enough time. So my book, Food and Cancer, is the best. Uh, everybody come, they will buy that. And they will read that. And I have it translated into Indonesian language and into Chinese. It cost me $10,000 to get someone, pay someone to translate because I don't know Chinese. My English book, I pay zero money. Alright? When I, I write, I got it translated, I pay $10,000 for what I write. Okay? <laughs> okay. And then, I got fed up. Whole day, whole night, talking about food. Not a cancer, but food. Because when, first time you come, when you are half dead, you don't talk about food because you want to get well. Once you get well, you will never want to, anymore you are talking about food. That's all that you are interested in. <laughs> so I got my wife to write the book, Healthy Cooking Recipe. And that's the food that I eat in my house every day. So there is no excuse to say that the food that we tell you to eat is no good. Look at me today. Almost hitting 70. No cholesterol pill, no high blood pressure, nothing. Never get sick. If I get sick also, I eat my water. So nothing to worry. <laughs> okay? This is the food that we eat in our house. The pictures are all, the plate and the table is in my house. And we make that book healthy cooking. Learn how to cook. And you bet a lot of people come very good, set up. All right? So there's no complaint. You can survive like me. You just follow how to cook and how to eat right. <laughs> this is the quotation from a Russian doctor. He said it, the only difference between doctors and lawyers is that lawyers just rob you. Whereas doctors rob you and kill you too. <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. It's nice talking to you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Christio. I think that was a very enlightening and most importantly, I think very empowering speech for the day. It is a, definitely a bigger round of applause, please. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think uh, we didn't give you answers here. But I think we've given you a lot of empowerment, right? As what Dr. Chris said earlier, you can't give excuses the next time you walk into a doctor's room. We're not doing doctor bashing here, no. It's just that all the things, all the decisions that we make is actually in our own hands. Do you agree? Yes. yes. And today you're fully empowered and therefore we are very happy actually to have had uh, Dr. Chris coming in from Penang and then really been flying off right away. We'd like to, on behalf of Can Survive, uh, give Dr. Christio a token of appreciation.